So what we're looking at here is the default, the top right hand side of the default on the dashboard in your Google Analytics. So what we're going to be covering really briefly in this video here is how to customize your date ranges and how to compare those date ranges with some previous periods and, and a couple of the limitations or considerations that you're going to need to make while you're doing that and, and things that you need to understand and take a look at as you're comparing your date ranges. So um, by default it's going to select a one month period as you first log in unless somebody else has been on there but um, you know either way you're taking a look at, uh, at about a month by default um, I should note that what we're looking at here is uh, just the right hand side of the screen that's to make it, uh, it format properly also we're looking at the analytics on a test site that uh, we run here at Beanstalk so uh, to make sure that, that test stays solid I can't get too far into uh, into all the different analytics uh, and get too deep into it but it serves as a fantastic example for uh, for videos like this where we're looking at functions uh, not conclusions. Um, so let's take a look at the first thing, how to adjust that. So what if I just want to look at last week, for example. Um, if we just click this drop down, now you may want to take a look in here. These are some of the most popular um, segmentation or date segmentation choices that you know Google encounters and so they've allowed for just a drop down. So if I just want to look at last week, select last week, click apply. You can see the, the dates change. There's far less data because I'm just looking at seven days as opposed to a full month of data. Um, so we, we get a, a different way of, of sort of parsing our data. So now I can get a feel for, okay, what, what happened last week? What were the trends through last week? That sort of thing. Um, now data in and of itself can, can be a bit problematic to look at. So I mean, in, in regards to right now, I'm just looking at a week isolated in and of itself. What's really interesting to me as, as an SEO and, and to most business owners is, hey, how does this compare to the week prior? Let's say I saw a ranking jump or a rankings go down or, or something like that. What did that do? That's what we really want to know. So um, we can just go back in and this is a, something that a lot of users don't know that they can do and just click compare to. Now by default it's going to go to previous period. It's important to know that previous period is the same number of days right prior to the day selection that you've, you've chosen. In this case we've gone with a week so the previous period is the week prior to that, um, we'll get a little deeper into that in just a second. So if we click apply, we're now comparing last week to the week before that to get an understanding of, hey, what happened to the traffic if the rankings uh, adjusted or, or we launched a different, uh, you know, AdWords campaign or something like that. Um, in just an aggregate level, we can see here, hey, there there was a change, not positive on, on the Friday in, in the case of this website. Um, we had a 9.84% decline, but Important to note, and, and overall, it appears to be pretty steady week over week. Now, something that uh, that we need to remember, or, or a lot of users need to remember, is um, when we're looking at larger segments of data, this may work okay in a week over week, and let's say you were comparing a, a really busy holiday season, or if you were uh, you know, an accountant during tax season or something like that, comparing one week to another may actually cause you problems. But for most websites, comparing this week to the week prior will show whether we've seen some gains or, or not. Um, when we're looking at larger segments of data, so let's say last month, and then we're comparing that to the previous period, Quick apply. Um, we might start to get some some skewing results. For example, if uh, if your site is um, based on you know the holiday season, it's it's an e-commerce site, and there's a lot of gifts and stuff. If you were comparing December to January, um, you might find yourself in a in a you know, with with invalid data. So what I like to do, or, or less relevant data because a, a drop into January if your um, site is based on holidays uh, obviously is, is something that would be expected and so you might panic to look at it but in fact it's just part of the overall trends so what I find helpful in, in cases like that and, and which is generally part of what I do when I'm looking at analytics is to compare to previous year and then click apply. So now I'm taking a look at this date range versus the exact same date range last year. So if I ran a, a travel site out of you know Whistler or Florida or, or you know any of the, the places that I like to travel, um, what is the the traffic in the exact same frame time frame? What you know this this is when people would be going to to Florida and, and this is my travel site. So okay, let's take a look and, and what's happening to this data. Um, now here I'm seeing that hey it was it was actually significantly higher last year, so that gives me something to take a look at. 
you know, I, I'd want to dig a little deeper and go, hey, what traffic? And we'll be covering that further in, in some videos in, in just a little bit. Um, now, something that's also important to note, and, and I'm going to switch my date ranges here to be just a, a bit more micro on us here in, in just a second. But as you can see, right now I'm comparing Friday to Wednesday. Now I'm looking at a, a full month of data, so on an aggregate level, that difference isn't as important. But let's say I was in here on our date ranges, and I just wanted to compare... Um, you know the the Sunday to Tuesday um, of of you know this uh, this week that is just passing right now, um, and then I went to previous period. No, let's go previous year. Okay, now let's click apply. Now, if we hover over here, I can see that right now I'm comparing Tuesday to Sunday. So if I if I'm trying to compare this three date range, um, what I'm going to see is I'm comparing. Sunday to Monday here, but when I go over here, I'm comparing Friday to Sunday. These are very, very different traffic patterns. So what I generally do in that case, my custom is just switch that to a date range very, very close. Um, Sunday to Monday, click apply, or Sunday to Tuesday rather. Um, and, and now I'm comparing apples to apples as I go along in a very, very closely related um, time frame. The only time when that wouldn't work as well as if there's a, a national holiday or statutory holiday or something like that in your region um, or, or state holiday um, matching into into the period that you've selected, in which case you would need to adjust up or down uh, a week just to make sure that your data is as relevant as it can be. But this is how we compare um, time frames and how we adjust our time frames um, in Google Analytics and some of the core functions. Um, something we'll be looking at later is as I've adjusted these time frames and I'm comparing my data as I start to look at additional data, my search traffic, things like that, I'm going to see that um, this comparison carries through analytics. So as I'm looking at additional data as I go through, it's going to be showing me a comparison of one bit of data versus another.